You can just be amazing what you find in the open country. We've come across a, a desolate, isolated road, probably built centuries ago. This is where we came in from yesterday. We were headed down on top of this tall glacier and worked our way down into the valley, which we showed below. Unfortunately, no civilization was found down there, so we decided to trek up across, and now we'll be heading to this mountaintop right here. So now, as we can see out, even better, we have a mountain in view, and that's where we're headed. Across this snowfield off the top of this cliff and down. Yeah, basically, beautiful views. That's what it's about out there. Out there, the beauty of nature and the stormy cliffs above. That's what we're going for. Right, so we're stuck on a, on a snow field right here. And uh, basically, we have to make down it so we can stay alive and get up this mountain. So we're gonna slide down this and uh, it's very slippery on the snow. So there's a technique you can use. It's called self-arrest. So this is how you self-arrest with a pole. So basically, you know, la di da I'm walking down, you know, trying not to, oh, oh no. I'm rolling down the mountain with your grip and you stick with your ice pick. And it gives you a good structure. You push one knee in, get into the cliff and push up. We've been traveling for about 13, 14 hours now and I haven't had anything to eat. And uh, hiking in the snow, this alpine environment, there's not much substance other than uh, the occasional sheep, which I haven't found yet. And uh, I'm getting very hungry. And basically, sheep's metabolism is very, very quick. Most nutrients go right through. So we're going to eat this. It's um, mostly algae residue, but it's uh, been cleaned, and hopefully it's fresh, so there's not much, uh, not much bacteria in it. But uh, we're just going to... I'm just gonna go in and uh, yeah, just grab the big one. So uh, basically, um, just gonna go right at it. Oh, oh that's that's terrible. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. basically, I'm gonna close the nose. Hopefully, not get any. Oh, this is gooey. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, I can't even get it down. I need some water. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's breakfast. That was a, a horrid meal, but here's the mountain we must get to. So, just like when I was in the Special Forces, there were lots of things we had to eat that were just so horrid, but it's to get on, it's not to, to be good and uh, gave me energy, a couple of vitamins, the ability to move on, and that's what it's about. See, look what we've come across here. Ah, here it is. Beauty. There is a sheep. That is a meal right there. And we're gonna attempt to make our way up very slowly. The key is being slow, using camouflage. Occasionally, put them at ease with a bit of a just to give them a false sense that you're one of them, right? Now here is where we wait. They cannot see me because I'm hidden behind this rock right here. We wait for the darkness to come and then we get our sheep. Then we get our me. We build a fire and this is what it's all about. I've attracted the attention of the herd and here is where I must be the most careful because I've split one off it's weakness, incessant, here it is. I've got it, it's in my sights. Oh, oh, and I missed. We must move on. Here we come, almost at the base of the glacier. And uh, well, our goal in front of us is to make it through the mountain pass. Here we are, trekking the glacier. We are heading up here. Where there are many here before us, but uh, Look at the beauty that we're about to entail on. The thing we must watch out for 
or crevasses wide, deep, and hiding beneath the ice and the snow. This is where we're headed. It's just moments like these. Like you just really just speculate and stand back and watch nature and just in awe. It's the reason, you know, I come out and into these these parts and just wonder about nature and the beauty that God has given us. Ah, it's just beautiful. <laughs>